Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We begin today with some herd management advice for those of you with cattle on wheat. Here's our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist, Dave Lawman. Dave Lawman, our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist, is here now to talk about grass tetany and some ways maybe you can prevent it. Dave, let's kind of start with the basics. What is grass tetany and how do I know that my cows may be affected? Grass tetany is a mineral imbalance. Um, and if a cow has a severe case of tetany, she won't be able to get up. Um, with treatment from a veterinarian, if, a, if a, a producer or owner finds a cow that's down, uh, they should immediately contact their veterinarian because early intervention is important. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, they'll salivate and they stumble around a lot. You know, they just don't have a very, very good gait. Um, but most of the time, they're, they're down when they're found. Now, in terms of the times of year that you see this, we're getting ready for that season, so kind of around calving season? Well, what causes it is the mineral imbalance, and so that's going to occur when forage is lush. So there's a couple of times in Oklahoma when that happens. One is in the fall when we turn out on wheat, and cattle may go from a kind of a moderate type quality of forage to really high quality wheat forage. The other time of the year is in the spring uh, when forage is green up. We generally don't see this problem in native rangeland, but you do see it in the introduced forages, particularly fescue, brome, timothy. Not so much in Bermuda grass, not, not that it has never happened on Bermuda grass, but uh, in the introduced forages and wheat, what you have when that, that forage is really young, lush, and growing rapidly is you have uh, very high potassium concentration, very high nitrogen, or we use in nutrition, we usually think of high nitrogen as high protein content uh, and high phosphorus content. Uh, on the other hand, magnesium and calcium are really low that time of year in that kind of forage. And so, uh, cattle do store magnesium and calcium in their bones primarily. Well, as a cow gets older, she loses her ability to sequester that magnesium from her bones. And so you see this problem more in older cows and not so much in young growing cattle. And of course you see it more when their requirements for calcium and magnesium are high. And that happens to be when she calves and during early lactation. So in terms of prevention, what can I do? What do I need to, to do to supplement some of these deficits? Okay, well, uh, the, the most logical fix is probably just provide a little bit of magnesium and calcium supplement, either in a feed concentrate, like a you know two, three, four pounds a day of a, a cube or some sort of a, a grain mix or whatever put some, be sure and ask your feed uh, person, uh, professional to include some calcium and magnesium. And then some people just supply additional calcium and magnesium through the Free Choice Mineral Program. So if, we, if you want to talk about the, the details for the Free Choice Mineral just, just for a minute, um, you'll see a lot of commercial products on the market that are made to prevent grass tetany. Generally speaking, all you have to do is supply somewhere in the neighborhood of 8 to 12 grams of magnesium per day. And so to do that, uh, if you have a commercial product that say supplies 10, the feed tag says 10 percent magnesium um, and the cows consume on average about two ounces a day, that's about 60 grams. Well 60 grams times 10 percent magnesium is 6 grams of magnesium a day. If they're eating four ounces, that's 120 grams, and so that's 12 grams a day. And so the cattle need to get, during these high risk time periods, they need to get somewhere between six and 12 uh, grams of supplemental magnesium. And that should do it. And then as far as the calcium goes, you know, a free choice mineral program during those times of the year should probably contain somewhere between 12, 15, or 16% calcium. Okay. And then bottom line, I mean, their death occurs, as you mentioned, but then okay. if, a, if a cow is down and appears to be troubled, it's best to call the vet as soon as possible? Yes. And they, they will uh, come out if they can get there in a timely fashion 
and generally intravenously inject a solution of calcium and magnesium and it's just it's miraculous if they're able to get there in time uh, those cattle generally just have a, a very uh, well nearly miraculous recovery okay save that investment all right dave wallman thanks a lot we'll see you again soon and for information on grass tetany just go to sunup.okstate.edu